Across military history, we have seen countless examples of where both military leaders and politicians alike would do almost anything to gain a tactical advantage on the battlefield. As revealed in this video, we will see that creativity is often a huge gamble and even reeks of desperation. For every great weapon idea, there are literally dozens of very expensive failures. In this video, we will examine seven crazy military weapon ideas that almost became reality. Stay tuned, this is Mind Guild. Weapon number one, the Great Panjandrum. The Great Panjandrum was a weapon that consisted of two 10-foot-wide rocket-powered wheels which was to deliver a drum that was full of explosives. Under ideal conditions, this weapon was to be used by the British to penetrate German battle lines and blow massive holes in them. This would allow tanks to roll through these holes to break down enemy strongholds. The biggest problem was that the rocket-powered wheels were very unpredictable. The Panjandrum was incredibly unreliable and could not maintain any course or direction. Additionally, when its speed reached 60 miles per hour, its rockets would fly off. Weapon number two, Nelly. Nelly was a war machine that was intended to resolve an obsolete problem. It was a vehicle covered with armor that would plow a trench right through enemy defensive lines. This would allow other war machines to subsequently advance through the new trench and further penetrate enemy lines. It was allegedly a pet project for Winston Churchill. However, it was quickly discovered to be very unreliable. For starters, it had a huge turning circle of about one mile which made it impossible to steer. Secondly, conditions were unbearable inside its cramped cockpit. Finally, with its slow movement and the way it left a long trench trail behind itself, it was a prime target for enemy bombing runs. Weapon number three, the Puckle Gun. This weapon was created in 1718 by a British lawyer named James Puckle. This gun became the very first patented multi-shot gun. It could fire three times faster than soldiers using a single shot musket, and it had the same range and accuracy too. The Puckle Gun could also fire square bullets that would induce incredible pain in its opponents. It is believed that this invention was way ahead of its time. Had it been used by a major military, it could have altered warfare at that time. Unfortunately, it proved to be unreliable and too expensive to build as its complexities made it impossible to mass produce. Weapon number four, the bat bomb. This weapon idea was intended to create thousands of fires simultaneously and cross an area of 40 miles for every bomb that was dropped. This vision was concocted by a Pennsylvania dentist named Lytle S. Adams who envisioned Japan getting destroyed by these numerous fires which would be delivered by hundreds of bats, believe it or not. Adams loved exploring caves and was quite impressed by bats that he had seen at Carlsbad Caverns. Right after the Japanese bombed Pearl Harbor, he shared his bat bomb idea with his close friend, Eleanor Roosevelt. Due to his personal connection to the First Lady, his crazy plan got heard at a higher level than it probably should have. Incredibly, the National Research Defense Committee actually considered the idea. In fact, it invested over $2 million in Project X-Ray to investigate this weapon idea further but it was later dropped. Weapon number five, the mouse tank. The Allies were not the only ones creating crazy weapon ideas. Adolf Hitler had always envisioned building a super heavy tank that was indestructible. The mouse tank was the result of this vision. It was a massive 200 ton tank that was designed by Ferdinand Porsche. Unfortunately for them, the mouse suffered countless mechanical issues from the very beginning. The drive shaft was a huge problem as it suffered from repeated failures. In spite of having a very huge aircraft engine, its top speed could only reach 12 miles per hour. Even though it had armor that was over 9 inches thick, 
it did not have one single machine gun to engage the enemy in close combat, even though it would have probably been in close combat quite often. Although there were plans to manufacture 150 of these mouse tanks, German generals were not convinced it would be an effective weapon, so only two prototypes were ever made. Weapon number six, the Blue Peacock. The Blue Peacock was a huge nuclear landmine that was to be buried by the British in western Germany. These landmines would detonate to prevent a hypothetical invasion by the Soviet Union into Western Europe. Unfortunately, its design had a massive flaw. When it was buried deep in the ground, the landmine would become too cold to detonate and create the intended nuclear explosion. Nothing could be any stranger than the proposed solution for this problem. Scientists who were running this project actually proposed burying chickens inside the bomb casing with a week's worth of food. The chicken's body heat would then allow the device to detonate. And finally, weapon number seven, the gay bomb. The notion of creating a gay bomb is perhaps the most controversial weapon idea on this list. However, as recently as 1994, the Wright Laboratory of the U.S. Air Force requested $7.5 million in order to create a chemical aphrodisiac to be delivered an explosive device for the purpose of causing homosexual behavior in enemy troops. As it turns out, this idea became a horrific failure scientifically. To begin with, there's no known chemical mechanism that will cause heterosexuals to instantly reverse their sexual preference. Secondly, there is also no known aphrodisiac that would have any kind of measurable effect on humans and certainly nothing that would have the desired drastic effect for this intended weapon. This project was also a functional failure because there is no evidence that any gay activity would actually suppress troop readiness. In fact, there are plenty of homosexuals that have proven to be extraordinary soldiers. In the end, funding was never furnished for this project. If you learned something new from my video, then subscribe to my channel right now. Let me know which of these seven crazy weapon ideas that you found most compelling and interesting. Leave a comment with your thoughts below.